a great night to celebrate 100 episodes. In this day and age, 100 episodes of television is a huge accomplishment, so I'm really proud of the show. Guys, we're going to cut the cake so everyone wants to wander around. I'm proud of doing 100 episodes and building great friendships. and It was actually a real joy to come to work you know, every day, and that's, that's, a, that's a rarity. It's hard to do 100 episodes of anything. And to enjoy it and have a great cast and crew. It's amazing how fast those 100 episodes go by when you're doing them. And uh, it's just great to see everyone here tonight and uh, all dressed up, all dolled up. Uh, they've never looked this good when I was working with them. In fact, I don't recognize half of them anyways. This is Nancy. She works in work a lot of I'm uh, proud to be uh, to be part of season five of Atlantis, uh, to be celebrating tonight. It's an accomplishment for any television series to hit 100 episodes, as you know. It's a thrill to, to uh, achieve the milestone, and, and it's actually Roberts and, and, and my 300th hour together, so it's a lot of fun. I think five years of McKay talking is actually like 50 years in human speak. Um, so it's kind of like a dog thing. You multiply it by 10, um, which results in, uh, yes, I think I... People say that actually by memorizing lines you can help avoid Alzheimer's and um, I think I've done that with my five years so I, I think I'm clear. In the equatorial regions, David's much larger than he was when he started the show and he's got less hair. Don't, don't say anything. It's also the end of the show, so 100 episodes and the end of the show, so it's kind of a bittersweet. I'm happy that uh, that we made it, and I'm happy that I was part of it at the finish line. Uh, well, I'm gonna miss Flynn. He's a he's a fun character for sure. But uh, also looking forward to smiling instead of uh, and not beating people up. What am I gonna miss the most about Stargate Atlantis? Yeah. The people, all the people. It's just a one big family. I love it. I mean, I'm sure everyone says it's like family, but it really is. I've met a lot of people. I will take with me and cherish. Casting, editing, post, locations, greens, our grips, lighting, electrical, camera department, set deck, playback, hair and makeup, and anybody else who I failed to uh, mention, I... Oh yeah, of course, the cast. Of course, the cast. My understanding is that we're definitely making a, a feature-length Atlantis. My main goal over the next few months will be to stay in spacesuit shape. I'm going to love coming back. It'll be nice to have a little break and come back and, you know, I've never, uh, never really been in a feature, so it'll be nice to, uh, nice to do that. Just a little big budget and play, uh, play Ronin, someone I already know, and then just, uh, that'll be fun. This is a really good time, if you think about it, when the show is doing really well to go and start doing movies, because it doesn't have to be one movie, it could be a series of movies, and that's our hope. I think they call it a bigger canvas, is the term they're using. The Stargate Atlantis movie will be bigger, better than, you know, anything we've ever done, so it'll be... It'll be really cool. Basically, the move to movies is, is because, um, you know, uh, television couldn't hold McKay any longer. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for five fantastic years.